So lately I've been in a bit of a slump here, but uh, I'm hoping today I'm going to break out of it. And just like any other sport, for me in fishing, when you're in a slump, you got to get back to the basics. So today I'm doing what I know best. I'm going to go out, try and jig up some live bait. Got a tabiki on my rod right here. And then I'm going to drop it down. Hopefully catch some ling cod or halibut if we're lucky. Uh, if you've been following the channel, I'm kind of on a mission to get one last halibut, but the season is really starting to tail off here. So I don't think I have a very good chance of catching halibut, but there is a chance nonetheless. So um, I think the most likely thing will probably be ling cod. So if I had to say there was one fish that you know I just need to go out and catch or my life depended on it, I think it'd be a ling cod. So that's exactly what I'm gonna try to do today. Hopefully we can get back to the basics and make it happen today. So it's a brisk fall morning out here. Um, and it seems like now, you know, it's now it's, we're heading into November. It seems like now you really have to pick and choose the days you're gonna get out on the water. You can't just come out here. You know, during the summer, probably 90 to 95% of the days, you can come out here and kayak fish with no problem. You know, the swells always go up and down, but during the summer, the the high swell days are usually not that bad. Um, but during the fall and especially during the winter, you can get some really big, big swells out here. So the last like five days have been too rough to get a kayak out here. And then the next like three or four days, I think are gonna be rough again. So I'm in uh, a little bit of a lull right here, hoping that this low swell day will also turn on the bite a little bit. Um, in my opinion, especially for rockfish and lingcod and, and halibut too. The lower the swell, the better chance that that bite's gonna be good. It seems like when the high swell is up, you know, not only is it not very fun out here, but also the fish don't bite as well. But anyways, you know, I wasn't planning on fishing today. Didn't get much sleep last night, but the conditions were too good for me to pass this opportunity up. There we go, here's some bait. The right kind of bait. Yep. Yep. Come on, smelt. That's three. I got three of them in there so far. Probably maybe two more, and then we'll be maxed out. So if you're not catching any bait, what I like to do is just troll it, especially with this motor. There's another one. Oh, came off. Um, yeah, just troll it, and uh, there we go. These smelts are right on the surface, like maybe five to ten feet down max. And you can see here, there. Oh, hold on. Seems like there's plenty of bait out here. We'll probably get a couple more, fill up the tank, and then we can start going for the big fish. Keep going. So when are you guys? What's your plan? Oh, we gotta finish by like noon. Noon, okay. And, um, and then cook after that? Yeah, just go back here and cook. Are you gonna drift around until noon and then go in and cook whatever you can get? Yeah, whatever we get, we'll cook it up. Nice. I'm ready to cook I'm ready to cook a smell, but <laughs> prefer not to eat that. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're leaving the uh, sushi contingency back there. Obviously, you already know Outdoor Chef Life is on there. You haven't seen him in many videos, but also Chef Hero. I think his channel is called Ma The Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef, something like that. I'll leave a link in the description. But anyways, they're creating some really nice dishes with all the fish that they're catching. So we might see them later in the day. I'm not really sure. But first off, we're going to go try and catch some fish of our own. So we're heading out to the rocks here, going to drop these smelts in and See if there's any hungry fish down there. All right, we made our way to the spot. We're gonna start our drift right here. And uh, you already know the deal. Live bait rig here. It's like a six ounce weight. Nice sliding snell knot. Slap on one of these fresh live smelt. One hook through the nose and one in the back. Gonna make it nice and lively. Pitch it down. Boom! Get that down there. Where is it? How are we looking? Oh, yeah. Alright, come on, fish. Bust me out of this slump.
All right, so we're looking for rocky areas for these lingcod and uh, sandy areas for the halibut. But honestly, the halibut and I think the lingcod too, well, not necessarily lingcod, but I think halibut really like those transition areas where it goes from sand to rock. And his rod snapped in half. <laughs> Sounds like someone broke their rod. But anyways, yeah, these halibut like these transition areas where it goes from sand to rock. And I believe that's because that's where there's a lot of bait fish, you know, anywhere where there's like two different depths, you know, there's like a big change in like rock to sand or like goes from really deep to really shallow. It's a good environment for a lot of different bait fish. So where there's bait fish, the predatory fish aren't too far behind. So I'm pretty sure those halibut are preying right around those rocks looking for anything to swim out of the outside of that reef and boom, the halibut will come up and grab it. So um, I have a couple of spots marked on my GPS where I know there's reefs. And I think if I go around them, around the edges, we have a good chance to get not only halibut, but also a lingcod. So that's the plan for today, at least for now. Oh, and also, I don't know if you guys caught that, but uh, when I was talking to Taku and Hiro and Danny, uh, they're looking to cook something up today and they only have a limited amount of time. And I somewhat promised them that I could bail them out if they don't make it happen, so pressure's on. Well, not looking good on this first reef. We have to move on to the second one now. We tried all the way around it. I went straight over the top, and then all the way around, and then back and forth a couple times. No bites. So I don't think there's any fish on here. Let's move on to the next reef. Um, it's not good yet, but we're still trying. We've been struggling lately. Do okay, you have any tips for me? I need to, yeah, I need to catch a fish, but it's not working what I'm doing. You should talk to the mermaids. I should talk to the mermaids? Yeah, they know the fish better than you. How do I talk to the mermaids? I'm a mermaid. Oh, so I'm already on track then. <laughs> change my bait. That might be the key though. Okay. Right now this bait that I'm using is not working so yeah. I might have to switch it up. Yeah right now I'm just aimlessly floating in the Pacific Ocean. Change the bait was the advice so we're gonna do that. I think we're getting hit here. size rockfish. Alright, we'll take it. Alright, let me get my line back down and then we'll show you the fish here. Not exactly what we were looking for, but um, that's a nice black rockfish right there. These make really nice fish tacos. Maybe Taku and Hiro want to cook this up too, so we'll bleed him and put him on the stringer. And if not, I'll take him home and make a nice fish taco out of him. But anyways, first fish of the day. I'm hoping this will springboard us into something a little bit larger on the next part. It's a start. Thank you. 
glare on the water. Oh, well that's a keeper. That's definitely a keeper. All right. Oh, we did it. Back in the game. that whole time when I was on when he was in the water. Oh. oh look at this. Look at this. Dude we're gonna use this as bait too. Look at this. Can you guys see that? What's coming up there? Dude that's fresh too. Might even be alive still. Nice octopus. Look out. I'll just give him a quick measure. So this is a lingcod, if you're not familiar with West Coast fish. Minimum size on these is 22 inches. That's a nice 25 incher. So, we are at least not going home empty handed here. I know we got the rockfish not too long ago, but honestly, for me, if I just go home with a rockfish, I kind of feel like I failed. So, I am very happy to get this guy. I just need to make sure I get him on the stringer here before anything bad happens. As always, any fish you want to keep to eat, it's always best to bleed them out. Um, so that blood, if you don't bleed them out, that blood will end up seeping into the, uh, not all of it, but some of it will end up seeping into the, the muscle, which is the part that you're eating. And it won't kill you, it won't harm you at all. It just affects the taste of the fish a little bit. So the bloodier it is, the more I don't know, people say the more fishier it tastes, but the, kind of the less flavor from the fish you get, the more flavor from the blood, which is not really what you want. So anyways, it's best to bleed them out as soon as you can. And the best way to do that is just to cut the gills. So, there's our stringer so far. Not too bad. That one just hits you when I was just like messing around, making sure I was in the right area. But anyways, Look at this ling. If it's on that side too. You can't really see on that side too much, but this side, you can see he's got a big scar right there. Okay, fish finder going off. He's got a big scar. Oh, and I can feel there's something in the stomach. Probably another, either another octopus or some kind of small fish. But you can see he's got he got hit by something. I don't know what that's from. Probably when he was a smaller ling cod. It's definitely scarred over by now. All right, we're gonna drop the fish off here with the masters, chef masters. Tough day of fishing. I mean, uh, you got one small rockfish and one keeperling, um, but I'm happy to get those nonetheless. Like I said, I was slumping for a while, so I'm just happy to catch something. And bonus on top of that is both of them I was able to keep. So I actually just handed off the, both of the fish to Taku and Hiro. They uh, unfortunately didn't catch any today, but luckily we were able to come through in the clutch and uh, dropped off the fish with them. So they're taking it back. They're gonna trailer the boat. I think they're gonna clean the fish. Uh, we may or may not get there before uh, the fish is cleaned, but either way, they're going to take care of that. Both of those guys are really good uh, with the knives and uh, everything else in the kitchen. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see what these guys cook up uh, with this ling. I think they're going to, I don't know if they're going to cook both, maybe just the ling, I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm really excited to see what they make out of this. Yeah, I still got my line in here, but I'm kind of wrapping things up. Uh, we're going to head back in here and meet those guys back at the, back at the harbor. So, we'll see you there. That fish, you could tell just by like putting your hand over the stomach, there's something hard in there. I don't know if it's a crab or what, but uh, Taku's about to 
cut open the stomach and take the guts out. So let's see what's inside there. It's a rock. It's Are so you serious? Rock. It must have been a tasty looking rock, or maybe he was striking on something else. Yeah. Missed. Straight, straight up rock. Straight up rock. Maybe there's crabs crawling on there. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You know, it might have been. The octopus could have been on the rock. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. he ate the octopus. The octopus, yeah, could have been on the rock. The quality of this clip is probably way better than anything you're ever going to see on my channel because this is being filmed by Jocelyn. But just really quickly, I want to thank Taku and Hero. Both chefed up this amazing, I mean, you can't really see it because we just ate it all. But what, what did you call your dish again? Cantonese. Cantonese. A little spicy. Okay. I don't have exactly the name of okay. this dish. So like a spicy Cantonese link cod. And yours? I don't know if you have a name, but he basically cooked everything that you probably haven't eaten before. In Japanese, I would call it horumon, which mm -hmm. means okay. exactly trash. trash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Taku cooked the trash. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, check them both out. Both meals were very amazing. I don't know if they're gonna be posted by the time this video is posted or whatever, but check the link in the description below. Check them both out. Subscribe to both their channels. Yeah, it was a fun day. Danny. Danny doesn't have a channel, but I just want to get him in the video. He's a nice guy. He's out here. He took both of them out there. Yeah, but he's the one that catches all the fish. So. It's good that well, he's here. Otherwise... The last time I caught a lot of fish was on your boat. So, <laughs> anyways, thank you to all three of them. So, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.